What's up guys and welcome to Project Cars 3. That's right, we've got a brand new addition to the series that we're gonna be checking out today. It actually comes out tomorrow. We've got a little bit of early access from Codemasters, so huge shout out to them for that. Appreciate the permission to upload early, but um, yeah, brand new Project Cars. I mean, we've checked out the past couple of games here on the channel in the past. I think the first one was like five or six years ago. Second one was a couple years ago, and uh, I, I don't know. I'm interested to check it out. I've heard the career mode in this is is pretty good. It, it you know kind of it's pretty expansive in terms of following a lot of different classes of cars and racing, and you kind of slowly build your way up and buy new cars and customize them and stuff like that, which of course I really like. Now, being completely honest here I mean the reviews haven't been spectacular they aren't bad but it's just not great you know what I mean like it's not like oh my gosh this is the best racing game ever so we'll see what happens I'm interested in checking it out for sure we're gonna hop in here welcome to uh a new era of motorsports has arrived taking what you love about racing to a whole new level intense action thrilling overtakes and exciting incidents are now the norm not the exception. Okay. This race like is out of that. It's a new breed of driver, and this is where you come in. We need bravery, determination, and willingness to take the risks needed to win. So let's get you out on the track and see what you can do. Oh. Huh. You don't gotta ask me twice. Here we go. We're getting into it. Let's see what this is all about. But yeah, man, we're gonna check it out. If we enjoyed, if we have a good time, we could make it a series. If not, at least we can say we checked it out. Um, uh, I'm definitely interested, to say the least, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens. So, we're gonna hop right into it. We've got some of our controls and stuff here. I considered hopping on the sim for this. I think we'll do the first couple of episodes on the controller. We might hop on the sim. I don't know. Sometimes it's just a little more convenient to like be chilling here. That's one thing that like. I think some of the previous project cars were a little bit more sim inspired, whereas this one kind of rides the line of sim and arcade, and that might be why some people are a little upset. First, let's cars make look pretty sure good. You've got the best possible view. Got some different views here. Going to be able to change things up, see how okay, we want to look. Your preferred option. Looks Hit good to me. Got a nice throttle here in the Corvette. The Brand new C8. Okay, so this must be some sort of a, a tutorial level or something like that. Ooh, what is this? Track guide markers. Slow down here, aim for the apex, aim for the exit. Okay. So they're kind of changing up the formula for um, for guidelines here. Instead of having the, the full line all the way through, they've got little, you know, less intrusive icons around the track. So that's kind of an interesting idea. I actually kind of like that. It, it lets you learn the track and learn where you're supposed to aim without completely holding your hand all the way through. But uh, it looks like this is some sort of a tutorial mode. I know that you, you kind of like, obviously start off with the cheaper car and then you win some races, you upgrade it. Eventually you can buy better cars, maybe get sponsors and stuff like that. So it it sounds kind of interesting. I, I think a lot of people are saying the game's kind of going through a bit of an identity crisis. Like it doesn't really know what it wants to be and it's trying to do everything all at once, which can be good, but it can also be bad. So like I said, we'll check it out. We'll, we'll see what we think. I don't know if I'm 100% sold. We're going to do a full walkthrough and, and full career mode on it. But if you guys really enjoy it and we really enjoy it, then, then maybe we'll change our minds. I do know we've, we've got a few more episodes of F1 we need to do. We've got UFC. There's just been like a, a blitz of games coming out lately, and it's it's hard to keep up with everything, but I want to give at least everything a shot. So trust me, if you're if you're waiting on some of those series, so we've been we've been heavy into flight sim and stuff like that. We're we're gonna get we're gonna get back to this soon. But we are absolutely dominating the competition here. This is going pretty well. Looks like we're getting lots of, of different, you know objectives and score multipliers and XP depending on, on how we're approaching each corner which is interesting so it's not just based on your final position of the race but it's also about like how you perform throughout that, that race awesome. good to see you out there having fun I'm gonna be able to take home a nice first place there buy our own set of wheels huh 
All right. On top of the podium, good old T. Martin from the U.S. of A. Got a win. Win events. Nice. Going to gain some XP here. Welcome to the showroom. The one-stop shop to buy the car of your dreams. You've got some credits in the bank. Let's see what we can afford. All right. How much money we got? $30,000. Going to be able to choose the uh, 2013 Toyota GT86. We've got a 99 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 9. That thing's pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Or we've got a 16 Civic Type R. Now, these things are actually really fast. Heard they're fantastic. Just like hard to beat for the money, you know, drivers. I'm kind of tempted to go with this, with the, the Lancer. I mean, that thing's sick. That's like old school, you know, street car, rally car, if you wanted to turn it into it. Let's go with the, let's go with the new school though. The career will take you on a journey through 10 unique race series. To progress, you'll need to either upgrade your current car or buy new cars to meet the various entry requirements. All right, so 10 series started at the bottom in road E and we're gonna make our way all the way up to uh, to GT Open, I guess. All right, so we're gonna have to unlock with some some challenges and money and unlocking new cars and stuff like that. Four tours that climax with a championship event. To unlock championships and new tours, complete the career objectives in the individual events. Okay, so let's just hop in. Looks like Road E Basics, Shanghai Nights Race. Finish the race, get five clean overtakes within one minute and master three corners. Welcome to China, baby. Here we go. Shanghai Nights. Let's see what we got going on here. So difficulty, I'm definitely gonna move up. Looks like we were on medium. What do you guys think? Should we put it on, I'm gonna put it on, on pro. I'm gonna go very high AI aggression and, and pro difficulty. There's, there's one more difficulty on there. Hopefully I'm not, you know, kind of overthinking it here, but. I'm feeling like in that tutorial mission, we did pretty well. Get off to a good start. Sounds good to me. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Let's get this thing started. Looks like we've got some Audis out here. Lots of Civics as well. Gonna have a uh, two-lap race ahead of us. Looks like we're kind of getting beat pretty bad off the line, but hopefully we're gonna be able to be able to get through here. Ooh. We've got some... Some carnage happening early here, huh? So yeah, you guys can see, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of a mix. It's a very, very, very soft sim. If anything, a little bit more arcadey. It's like an arcadey sim, I guess. It, it's kind of... Nine, keep your focus. Nine, keep your focus. Will do, sir. Um, you, you, you can definitely, you know, trade a little paint, get a little aggressive, and it's not going to penalize you as much as, as like a normal sim would. Let's see if we can get out front here. Try to get out front, hit that apex. Oh, there we go. So we had the we had the five clean overtakes in, in one second. We've already completed that objective. Next one's going to be the finish of the race. We're going to master three corners, which we've already done two of. So we're off to a uh, we're off to a good start. Looking like we might have to have to up the difficulty even more. To be honest, oh no, these guys are still on us. Okay. To be fair, I really like the um, I really like the the, the icon situation I, I feel like the the full racing line isn't isn't necessary you know, I, I like just having little icons way less intrusive makes makes the game way more you know intuitive and and, and you know there's not like this big colorful line in front of you it, it just it looks it looks it, it's less less distracting is I guess the, the word I'm going for like I feel like I feel like the game sucks me in a bit more which is, is kind of nice. Got four out of seven perfect corners. Gonna try to go to seven. Come might... on now, it's the final lap. Take the win. No mistakes, you can do it. Might be able to get another sort of a, a little bonus situation or something. Come around here. Nicely done. That's gonna be five out of seven. Hitting all of our markers. You love to see it. Come around through here. Gonna want to tap the brakes here. Hit the apex. Shoot, missed the second apex. We had a little bit too much speed. We are dominating the, the competition here. Got one more perfect corner we're trying to get here if we can. 
Ooh. I mean, that was that was pretty nice right there. I don't think it's going to count it as a perfect one, though. We're at six out of seven on that. Come on, baby. Try to slow this down. Get through there. See, like, I feel like that was, that was a pretty good quarter through there, but I, I don't think we technically hit the exact marks that we wanted. We were kind of sliding a little bit. That's your first win under your belt. Brilliant job. Brilliant job, Mike. All right. So we're going to go ahead and check, check, check all of our objectives there. Ended up with a win. Going to get some money. That's exactly how we want to do it. Oh, we could go to Havana, dude. What? The Havana laugh. The aim is to set your best time over one lap. Racing against yours and others' ghosts will help you find those extra milliseconds. Penalties will void your lap time, so stay focused, race clean, and find the quickest lines. All right, so this is going to be kind of a a time trial of sorts. Havana, Cuba, huh? This is cool. So we're traveling all over the world. I'm assuming these are probably fairly realistic, you know, based off of what it actually looks like in these places. Might not be on, on you know, a flight sim, Microsoft flight sim level, but probably pretty good. Gonna feel like I'm in a Fast and the Furious movie out here. Welcome to Cuba. Good old Cuba, baby. I want to go there so bad. It's so beautiful. Kind of a city stuck in time. All right, so I'm gonna go, uh, shoot. We're just gonna go to the race. I was gonna turn up the difficulty again, but don't have a difficulty for not racing other people. Here we go. Should we try a? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try racing inside here. Let's see the inside of this new beast. See what this is all about. Got a break here. Where are we going? We're going around this corner. Ooh, that is a much sharper corner than I thought it was gonna be. All right, that's my bad. I probably should have been paying attention. All right, I'm gonna come through here. It wants us to break. Go through this apex. Didn't really have enough speed to warrant braking right there. I think we probably could have probably could have rolled through it just fine. Definitely wanna wanna break through here. Not bad there. Not necessarily perfectly fast. Obviously our, our second and, and ongoing laps are gonna be are gonna be quicker as we go through things like this, but not bad. Dude, I mean this this looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but. It looks fairly good. I feel like the menus and stuff look a little bit outdated, but like the, the cars, the cars look good. The cars are the focus, obviously. The, the graphics in the background aren't perfect, but I think they're doable. Got a break here. The thing is, you actually have no no clue how much to break, but um, no, it's it's not bad. 122 is going to be our goal, and we were able to get that no problem. Let's go. Just triple checked our objectives again while racing inside and severely messing up on that first corner. So I'm gonna move on to our next group of races here just to kind of see what's going on. Looks like we unlocked this dark desert. That sounds kind of interesting. I'm down to go for it. Looks like we're gonna be going to the Mojave Desert. Sweet. I think, can we, uh, let me go to our garage though. Are we gonna be able to, can we do some some upgrades and stuff? Yeah, let's upgrades do some upgrades. all about making your car go faster. You're free to upgrade or even downgrade whenever you like, but to apply parts, it'll cost you credits, so spend wisely. To perform an upgrade, simply select an upgrade part, then spend your credits to have it applied to your car. Okay, sounds easy enough here. It's gonna be able to upgrade anything from tires, you know, brakes, weight reduction, bodywork, air intake. This is interesting. You've, then you've got like different levels, the green, the blue, the purple. Obviously the higher level, more expensive, better it's gonna be. I'm gonna say, let's work on some some uh, weight reduction here. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a motor, sp oh wait, hold on. If we get outside of road E, does that mean we're not gonna be able to race in road E anymore? I would assume that means that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a performance weight reduction right there. We're gonna leave it there and then we're gonna go do this race. I don't wanna outclass ourselves and have to jump up to the next class before we're ready. We'll stay down here, kind of kind of rock with the, the little boys for a little bit. But uh, Mojave Coyote Noose, dude, this looks like a pretty insane track. So we've got it on the highest difficulty. We're getting bonus 24% XP, which is, is good news. Let's, uh, let's get after it here. Legendary difficulty. I think we do have a couple of assists on. I turned most everything off. I think we've got ABS on. And um, then maybe, 
maybe low traction control. So we could eventually take those those off. We're just trying to try to feel it out. You know what I mean? Try to try to see what works. So here we go. Ooh, look at that R34 up there. I see you. I see you, bro. You balling out, huh? Thinking you're you're slick. Oh, there's two of them. Bringing your JDM cars in here. Technically, we're JDM, aren't we? It's Honda. I don't know if you would consider it JDM or not, but close enough. So here we go. Let's get after it. Got to be careful about this first corner. We've got to get eight clean overtakes nice within a minute job. 20. We've also got to um, finish the race within 2.30. And... We want to draft somebody for five seconds and then overtake them. So let's see. Fantastic move. Good stuff there. Let's see what we can do here. Got to be careful. Ooh. He ran into us. Ooh. Got to aim for this apex. Yeah, this is... These guys are already a little a little bit better. You can tell. So that's lap one down, I believe. Just about. Position gained. I'm trying to draft this dude. If we can draft and get around him. Try to dive up the inside here. Got around first place there. Nicely done. Dude, this is, I mean, this is an insane track out here in the desert. We're just swooping over all of these little dirt mounds and many hills and mountains and stuff. I don't know how much we should break there. I feel like we broke a little bit too hard. Woo, we're sliding, we missed that apex. We're good. Staying out front. Dude, this is sick. I feel like the cars look, look really good. I'm, I'm a I'm a fan. I mean, okay, final lap. The car behind is pushing hard. Don't give them any chances. Ooh, hit that brake pedal, and we just instantly started screeching and sliding. That was that was dangerous. Running through here. Split time is two point no, point two nine seconds above where we were on our last lap. Let's go ahead and slow this down here. Don't want to slow down too much though. We just kind of got to feel it out. Looks like we came in a little a little bit too hot there again, but uh, we are going to be able to bring home the victory, so uh, job well done, gents. Gosh, I keep going past which one I want to be at. We'll take it. That's exactly what we needed. Great driving. So this is cool. As we're ranking up and getting XP, we're leveling up our Civic Type R, like, personal level. Like, we have, like, a car level along with our driver level. And we're getting upgrade discounts. So level five, we get a 5% discount. That's nice. So if you stick with one car and you, you consistently work with it, you're gonna be able to bring it up with you. That way you don't have to leave it behind in, in some of the um, the lower ranks where it was stock, which is, is kind of cool. So let's go, uh, I say we go do one more. Um, should we do the Canyon Run Championship? It's two rounds. Let's do our first championship here. I'm down for it. Okay, the first race of the championship is on. Get out there. Show them we mean business. Dominate from start to finish. From start to finish, you got it, coach. You got it, Jeff. So thankful you were able to able to come over from the uh, the F1 series to be able to coach us out here in our, our new uh, newfound passion of, of racing cars in the desert. Ooh, look at this old Mustang right here. So we've got a very That's interesting... A very, very interesting cast of cars through here. I like that. Everything from brand new Audi TTs to 65 That's Mustangs, Keep it up. 2016 Civics, and and you know everything, everything else that you could you could fit in one smorgasbord of cars. All right, got a little bit loose there. We're gonna be fine. Ooh, got one of those those. Lancer Evo's behind us. That would have been a, a, a solid choice for us for our first car. I, I definitely, I definitely would have would have enjoyed that one if we would have stuck with that. All right, now we're getting a little bit of competition. I like this. We just had to add a few more, a few more turns and stuff, spice things up a bit. The problem is you just never, you never know how much you need to slow down. I guess, I guess it's just kind of a feel thing. Just gotta feel it out. We got what? We got a penalty for cutting the track. Okay, they're pretty stringent about that then. We're back in 10th out of 20. Here we go. All right, dude. I don't appreciate that one bit. I'm gonna get out in front of you and, and brake check you. <laughs> Nicely done. I feel like sometimes some of the uh, some of the braking points you don't actually have to brake, so that kind of messes with me. 
You could you could kind of keep the throttle pinned and, and slide through the corner a little bit more. So I'm I'm just I'm I'm gonna ignore the the markers this time around. Let's let's just race our race. Let's just see. Try and catch that one in front. You can do it. One more lap to go. Let's just see what we can do. It's off to a great start. Sometimes I feel like we'd be better off if we if we you know let off and coast instead of braking. See, like here, I'm gonna brake just a little bit, but mainly coast. Try to keep this position on the inside. We're gonna be able to get around that Mitsubishi up into the top four, feeling pretty good. Gotta be careful about this. Wanna break a little bit later. Try to be able to hold this inside line, push them to the outside, and look at that. That's a clean pass to first place. A little bit of rubbing, so maybe not so clean, but See, like here, I, I didn't feel like we had to brake that hard. Just kind of let it let it ride, let it coast a bit. Ooh, we missed that that second apex, but that's all right. Got to be careful not to hang our tires off on the, the edge. Don't want to end up getting called out for, for cheating again, but looks like we're uh, looks like we're in a good spot here. Just drift it around these corners. You'll love to see it. Coming into this tunnel. We've got some very interesting, interesting circuit locations so far. I, I, I like that. We're not on like just normal racetracks and stuff. Like we're, we're out here championship. Good job. on the streets of, I don't even know where we are. Where are we? Race number two out of two. We have, uh, we've qualified for the Big Daddy Championship and it's time to get in there and get it done. The final championship race. The pressure's on. We can do it. You can do this. Matching, there's going to be a pretty big purse if we're able to win this thing. We want to finish at least fifth, finish on the podium in one round, and earn 15 points. Well, let's let's try to do our best here. We've actually, I mean, so we had 30k. We spent 29k on the car, and then we spent like I don't even remember a couple thousand on our weight Good reduction. Start. Good start. We've already built back up 28,000 dollars. So we're we're almost we're almost green, almost completely in the profit. I would imagine this race will, will probably get us there. You're and then we can place. Keep pushing. You're catching. We can start thinking about maybe maybe hitting the the shopping plaza to be able to be able to get a new vehicle. Not that I don't like this thing, but I think that's, you know, kind of the excitement is that you can constantly be trading things out and, and moving up and mixing things up. So this is actually this is gonna be the same the same circuit that we had with the Corvette at first. Obviously got a race a lot different being that we're not in a Corvette. Be mindful of aquaplaning on the straights. The rain's getting a little heavier. Ooh, we're introducing some weather here, huh? I like it. Mix things up a little bit. So we're up in a position four. This is the final lap, final lap. You're catching, third place is in sight. Third place is in sight. We definitely at least want the podium, bare minimum. Uh, I don't, I don't know that I, I'm really down to settle for that though. I'll try to get, try to get this inside line, try to push him out. There we go. Just be careful about the rain, Trev. That is something to be a bit, uh, You're into first place. a bit Great concerned job. about. We got this pretty hard chicane through here. Kind of got a little sideways. Shoot. All right, so these guys... Actually pushing a, a bit harder this time around. Please don't give me a corner cutting penalty. Come on. No, we're, we're kind of pushing it. We're hanging a tire or two off the edge. We should be good from here on out. Let me go inside and see what it looks like in the rain. Oh. Okay. That's my bad. I was, uh, I was switching cameras and, and not paying attention. Not looking at what was going on, obviously didn't have the best traction there but we're gonna be able to recover we're gonna be able to cross the start finish fantastic your first career championship great job and we haven't been beaten baby we just won out there definitely need to up the difficulty could probably turn all the assists off at this point I'm surprised we we're able to able to do that good but I'm uh, gonna be able to get 25 points out of that that's gonna tick all our boxes and uh, Hopefully make us some money. So it looks like we actually didn't 
Didn't win any money out of that one. I think money comes from XP and leveling up. That's how we've earned it so far. You probably get some for some races as well. I just, I think that the bonuses are, you know, all dependent on uh, on what the race is. And it's it's different from race to race. But uh, that's a that's a pretty good start to Road E here. We've taken down quite a few of the, uh, the first two tiers here. Looks like we've got Road E Specials and then Road E Majors. And then of course, after that, you're gonna be able to move up to Road D. We need nine more targets complete, or you can pay $20,000 to be able to unlock it. And then of course, you need a Road D class car and you just kinda, kinda move your way up. Can we see, I wanna see, um, let me see the showroom. That's what I'm interested in. I wanna see what kind of vehicles we can purchase and how much they're gonna cost. So let's go to our showroom here. So road E, we'd be able to get an R34 for 32,150. We've almost got enough money for that. We've got Audi TTs, AMG A45s. Those are pretty nice. Those are gonna be all the road E cars. If we move to road D, ooh, look at that. Gonna be able to get the new Supra, could get an old school Porsche 959. We've got some, some AMG C63s, uh, you know. Some decent looking cars there. C, we're getting into some Aston Martins. We've got some Challengers. There's the new Corvette Stingray. Okay, this is nice. Into road B. This, oh, Audi R8s, McLaren 570Ss. Okay, we've got the, the 2017 Z06 in this class. That's kind of an interesting choice, but I guess. Road A, we're gonna get into some track cars, Bachmanos, F1s. Four GTs, that's pretty cool. We've got hypercars here, P1s, Bugattis, 918 Spiders, LaFerraris. All right, nice, I like that. And then finally, we've got GTC, which is gonna be straight up, you know, track cars, not road legal anymore. Ooh, 111,550 is gonna get you a, a 1999 GTR R34 racing spec. That is, that is pretty sick. Look at some of these, dude, all right. Oh, we've got GTB, GTA, GT Open, GT Touring A, GT C. There are so many options here. This is insanity. So yeah, kind of interesting. I, I mean, I, I like it. It's not my favorite game. I'm not completely blown away by any means, but I did enjoy that. Like, I, I, I wouldn't be against continuing a career here. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of other games going on at the moment. So if there's not like a massive amount of support and a massive amount of interest, and we might have to either put it on the back burner and, and, you know, shelve it for a later date or maybe just not continue. But uh, if you guys are into it, if you guys want to see more, if you want to see it slid into the, the rotation, we can make that happen. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Leave some comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.